Welcome back, guys, for more Timberborn. What are we going to do in this episode? And the answer is a lot. Our terraformers are going to be focusing on getting the replacement aqueduct in, and I've put a nice chunk in for them to do. And we're approaching the first step up point. Woohoo! While we're over in this area of the map, we can finish off this little project. Dynamite that. And then hopefully, all of this water should start cascading down here. Oh, hooray. And there was much rejoicing. I'll keep those stairs there for now, just so that they can get down and recover the rubble, which would be a nice thing. On the subject of resources, I've been putting in some logistics. So over here, because we're going to be doing a lot of work over here, I've put in uh, a storage for planks and told them to obtain planks. And it's already, well, it's, it's not quite full, but it's getting there. I've done the same thing over here. I've put in logs and planks, and that one's full. Woohoo! Yeah, we should be in good shape to get these jobs done fairly quickly. What are we doing here? Well, you should know. Where were you the last last couple of episodes? We are uh, re reworking our water wheels a little bit to uh, to get more water wheels in. We're also trying to get power around to these pumps. I don't think it's going to happen this season. Now, as well as laying dynamite over here and laying dynamite over here, I also want to lay dynamite down here because it's important. If we're going to get this water out of here, it's important that this channel is down at the lowest level all the way through here. Okay, this is all happening. This back wall is all laid in. Oh, wow. Let's, um, let's get that done. We speed it up a little bit. Nice bit of machine gun fire. Bum, 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 bum. Well, we're on cycle 88, day 13. We've got 15 days left. Uh, I really want to get this section done. So, shall I do it? Shall I do it? Let's do it. What do I need? I need to demolish from there all the way down here. Boom. Um, boom. It's done. Over at the aqueduct, we have an idiot. You how how do i manage to do it every time okay i'll i'll let you out okay you're gonna get out yes he is eventually apparently not anytime soon get out of there thank you about blooming time too all the dynamite is laid at last oh my god detonate we'll do that one from the middle woohoo all done okay now uh i can put that path across there get rid of those all right so the most important thing now is getting the power line in so one two two section one two one two i don't know why i suddenly started calling them t-sections like actually calling them by the proper name they're three ways they'll always be three ways for us and I don't know how many I've got to put in here. That's a good point. Uh, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Awesome source. Okay. Then we've got uh, straight shafts to connect all of those together. Up to there. And then we want platforms over the top, don't we? Yes, we do. So we need uh, two high there. And then singles all the way along here. They're throwing this in really nice and quick. This is what I was hoping for. So if we can do this section, we've done this in less than 10 days. I should be able to get the next section done before we get the water down. Okay, I've, I've done it. I've made the commitment. I've got rid of these water wheels here. And I'm committing to doing this section as well, which <laughs> I hope is not going to be a really stupid idea. Uh, let me pause for a second. I want to rip this out. Let, let's just get it. If I'm going to commit, commit 100%. So grab that. And all of this is going to go. Boom. And yep, all of that goes. And those stairs and do i yeah, do i do this bit as well yeah i guess 
That's got to go. And that. Okay. Oh, man. I'm terrified at this stage. <laughs> right. I have got work to do. Uh, these are prioritized. I'm going to get down there so that we've got access to the next level. And then, oh, man. Yeah, okay. Now I'm terrified. I've got 10 days. Let's get it done. Well, so water wheels. Let's get the water wheels put in. So... Have I got this in the right place? I think I have miscounted. No, but it's fine. It's fortunately, it's like a, I was intending to leave a, a one space gap. How did I miscount that? Like, really? I don't know. I don't know how I d picture. How do I do these things? Like, what know. the hell is wrong with me? I do it every time. I just miscount something. Anyway, okay. So I'll, I'll put all the water wheels in. The point is... Uh, I wanted to set stream gauges in. There was supposed to be a one gap and then the stream gauges. How? How did I miscount? I don't know. I do oh. I'll go to my I'll go to my grave not knowing how the hell I did that. Where are the stream? I'm, I'm stressed now. Where are the stream gauges? So stream gauges go in there. All the water wheels. Then I can work out the other end. So we, what do we need? We're going to need uh, gauges, uh, a bridge. So gauge is bridge, and then one gap, and then the next weir, or uh, magic tile. And then I just need to link it up with this. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it should be straightforward, but how can I mess this up? Well, <clears throat> um, keep your fingers crossed, but maybe touch wood or something. But day, well, we've got eight days left, and the back wall's already done. They just came in... They flew in and did that. So I'll rip out the back wall, which means I can get the power connection started, which is awesome. Meanwhile, our terraformers have been making good progress. You know, I'm, I'm going to need to put another... They're, they're really racing along. I suppose it's since they've got this in. Their, their path from the excavators and wherever they're living... Is, is pretty rapid. They can just get straight there. So, yeah, okay, well, that's working out nice, but it does mean I've got to put in another section. So let's get the demolish tool. We'll remove that. It, it, I can't wait till this is built, really. It's going to be so nice having, like, the, the whole map surrounded by this aqueduct. And then we've got to start thinking about what we're going to do with these six tiles on the other side. Ha-ha! I said it was a secret. It still is. Is that because you don't know, Sky? Might be. <laughs> Might be. What's it to you? Yeah, what's it to you? <laughs> that's what. That's what you always say to me. I know. Might be. What's it to you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm doing these in in steps of ten. So I put in like so from there. I'd put in ten, and then that's where the next uh, pile goes. So I throw a large pile in there. Need to put a path in, but I'll do that afterwards. And set it to obtain dirt. Hooray! And that's the next section. Ready to go. But each each time we move forward, pretty much we go up a level, and it gets quicker and quicker and quicker. I mean, good lord. Yeah. This this next section up to the corner is going to be like really quick. Starting to look pretty tidy over here. That's good. Okay. Let's go back, see how they're getting on. Okay, all the water wheels are in. They've done all the stream gauges. They've done the stream gauges, the bridge. They're laying in the dynamite. All of this is going in. Oh, they've laid all of this. Good Lord, this is happening nicely. 4.6 days. Well, yeah, it needs to. 4.6 days we've got left. Boom, 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 boom. Got rid of that. So we've got to lay all of this dynamite and get that demolished um yeah so it's all down to this level we've got to put the power cable in we can't put the water wheels in because there's already a set of uh, of water wheels in here so we don't have to build the water wheels so i think we're we're looking very very good to get this finished in time so i'm trying to learn lessons from each section that i do and from from these two sections i learned the lesson that i needed to have planks and logs on hand for building the water wheels and all of the all of the platforms and everything um 
from this section I've learned you need to have dynamite handy so over here I've actually put in a couple of warehouses that are stocked with dynamite that the haulers can bring up so when we do finally get round the corner and start doing this this should be a hell of a lot quicker I'm hoping that we finish this in the next season even if it's a short season I think we can get the whole thing finished but right now they just got to lay this dynamite 3.3 days left I don't think it should be a problem but <laughs> you never know well all done with half a day to spare and I mean I'm aware that it's going to take like a couple of days for the water to get down here anyway but um, it's nice to have that in the back pocket just in case something goes wrong uh, I've literally just gone round and clicked on every water wheel on this side on the on the far edge to make sure that every one of them is connected and they're all perfect I had, I had several comments on the last video people saying are oh, you they're not connected properly they are they are 100% connected properly um, let's do the walls first to bring this down to a nice smooth level boom and then we'll go all the way back good lord that's a noise <laughs> and boom and of course i missed one <laughs> okay we uh will see see it's always a good idea to have a little bit of extra time uh let's pop that in there and i've completely forgot about those stairs Oh, there's another one that how okay how the hell did i miss that one see i always miss something okay uh oh and that one as well how the hell okay i i just completely missed them uh this is all laid i think yeah i've got to um i'm gonna backfill that path but i can do that i can do that afterwards uh so yeah let's let's do all the dynamite in one go because we are now down to the bottom layer it's done so now we can extract all the water from there and get it into the main reservoir which is awesome i suppose i should start laying up for the next season well i can't well can i um no i can't really because i i need the first thing i need to do really is demolish these so i guess we've got to wait till we get through the wet season and then we can do that in the meantime there are some other things we can do we can come over here we can demolish this little island so boom the fountain goes in that'll be nice that'll be a really nice boost to these guys what else what else what else um this i'm oh yeah i know what i was going to do i was going to check the catalyst levels okay so we've got no excess catalyst over this side of the map we are producing it let's go over the other side of the map oh yeah we've got we've got look we've got 400 catalyst over here okay i think we just need to produce a little bit more catalyst don't you how can we do that well the easiest way demolish this large pile here goodbye um do i want to prioritize getting this done quickly i'm thinking i do because the sooner we start doing that the better uh put bots in i'm so glad you reminded me to do that all right cool start of day three and there goes the water awesome okay uh have they got that dynamite done they better have or there's going to be harsh words yes they have that one that one and that one hooray oh, i forgot to put those parts in <laughs> i'll do that okay well everything's um everything's okay then so we've just got to let the let the wet season happen the the builders can be busy on the statue and oh my god that's about to get built <laughs> boom okay well that, i'm glad i look i thought that would take a while to get built and we've got the statue Woohoo! well that's going to make a lot of beavers very very happy um, I'm expecting that we should hit a new well-being record. Should we follow the water around? Let's follow the water around. 
Now, I just want to point out to people, this flooding, people are making out like this, this, this flooding is like, oh, it's, it's a big deal and I'm losing a ton of water. I'm not. They're tiny little leaks. I mean, it's, I mean, what is that? Like maybe, maybe a quarter of a tile in those tiles. That's it. How much over here? I mean, this is, this is nothing in here. It's a tiny, tiny amount of flooding. It's, it, like, as in inconsequential, wouldn't even mention it. But a lot of people have been taking it like it's, um, it's a big deal. And, and we're losing a lot of water. We're really not. Um, you look around here. I mean, it looks big because it spreads out. But look, it, it just dries up instantly because it's such a small amount of, uh, such a small amount of water. How are we doing power-wise? Let's have a look. Uh, that's a stream gauge, Sky. <laughs> Uh, we're at 64,000. The water wheels are still ramping up. How are we doing down here? The water's coming down here, coming down here. We're going into the right place. This is filling up. I was just putting in some additional gravity batteries and um, I noticed how fast these were going. We're bringing in 80,000 power right now. And just look how fast they're going up. We've still got a day left of the water. So probably three days more power. Okay, I've just thought of a good thing that I can do during the during the, the wet season. Although we, we're, we're into the dry season, but we've got a couple more days. Um, one thing I could do that would be useful would be to increase our storage. So let's have a look at the large storage. So the large warehouse, this thing holds 1,200 these only hold 200 so i'm thinking yeah i'm thinking a couple of those in here because they i could get i could get them to fit couldn't i so let's grab the large warehouse so which way it's facing that way good so what i was thinking was to have one there one there and i can start doing it we've also got the the the, the large underground storage the underground pile which holds like loads what does this hold 1800 so i could start i could start replacing some of these with those large storages that, that's something that i can definitely do when when i'm not doing this other stuff during the during the dry season although you know i was gonna say although when i'm done with this will i really need dynamite as if i'm not gonna come up with some other stupid project that's gonna need an absolute ton of dynamite I can't believe it. We're not going to make it. I mean, in fact, that's not actually as high, high as last season because um, these these were maxed out last season and they're just a little bit short. So, yeah, we need we need some more water wheels. <laughs> we need we need the extra couple of sets of water wheels and then I'm fairly sure we're going to max out. We've got uh, 22 day dry season okay i am going to get this finished the oh this is uh this is overflowing into here so yeah we had what how many did we only have minimum water i think we only had minimum water so yeah not a lot now okay now this is some flooding down here now why why did we have so much flooding down here what have i missed because that's that's a fair amount of water down there why did this why did this flood so badly okay i absolutely do not know because i was off doing other things um i'm gonna have this we lost a, we lost a fair amount of water there okay that i'm gonna have to figure out that i'm gonna have to figure out well, there's got to be a reason. I'm sure I'll discover it. We'll 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 watch this carefully in the next wet season, because that that's a problem. Everything's in. They've just got to build it. Now, after this um, after this unfortunate flooding incident, uh, I've decided to do something that I've been kind of mulling over for a while. I'm going to put in guardrails on the aqueducts. Yeah, it's. Um, I, I, it's not a solution that I'm overly happy with, but I mean, it will look fairly epic and it will solve the problem of, uh, of the flooding. Uh, yeah, but I don't know. 
there's something inelegant about it, which is causing me <laughs> distress. Well, the drought has just ended. We're on cycle 90, day one. And the pumps are pumping. <laughs> we are pumping out of our backup emergency reservoir, the eyeball, into the lower reservoir. That is sweet. I'm so glad we got that done. Now, the question is, how many of the water wheels can we get done by the time the water reaches them? Well, time has run out. It's day three, and here comes the water. We've got all of this done. Oh, we've got all of this section done. And we're working on this section. <laughs> so we've still got like one and two thirds sections to do. We're, we're around here. How are we doing? Oh, we have emptied the lake. <laughs> the eyeball. The eyeball is empty. And how, how did we do? Like, we got, have we got very much water? Oh, we've got a bit. We've got a little bit of water left. So I don't think we actually ran out of water, but we got close. We got very close. Uh, shall we see what our power levels are like at the moment? Let's go over here. I'm going to go to my favourite water wheel and check on what our power production is. We are producing right now 75,000. Uh, and the wind power is only just over average. So I think, I think we're producing more power from our water wheels than we have before, which is um, pretty good news. The bad news is we're getting minimum water again this year. Oh, that's a real downer. So it's going to be interesting to see how much water we actually get. Because there's a big difference between getting like six days water and getting seven or eight days water. Okay, I think I might have found the problem for why we had the flooding over here. And it's... Well, we're starting to flood here. It's because when I've changed this, this used to go into... Uh, a wider channel uh, and it's important that the at the end where wherever your aqueduct ends up that it goes into a wider area so what we need to do is widen this channel is this water is this water level going to drop that's the question okay how are we doing now um yeah i'd say that's marginally better wouldn't you <laughs> oh my god I'm glad I found the problem, though. So that has to drop the water level here, which drops the water level going all the way back. And now everything should be smooth. Whew! Okay, well, you know what? That's, um, that's made me happy, finding that. Because that is a, that's a problem solved. And I like solving problems. The last of the water wheels have just stopped. So that is as much water as we're going to get this year. How did we do? Did we, did we even get to three tiles? And the answer is no, because we haven't overflowed this. Good grief. Let's have a look. We're, what, like maybe two and a half tiles. <laughs> Whoa. I tell you what, getting minimum water two years in a row not great but the good news is this is a 15 year uh, a 15 year <laughs> okay that would kill us a 15 day drought uh which is really good news uh that's the shortest drought that you can have so we've got a chance next year to next year next season to catch up on the water so we'll have we'll we'll lose less water in in this current season i hope we have a long water season and we can get get really stocked up the power, the power's good. It's not as good as it has been. Um, so, beca again, because we, we had less water, so less power. So, yeah, uh, this, this season, going to be important. Cycle 90, day 20. We're coming to the end of the drought. And we've, we've got everything ready. We've got the water system is, is done. We've got all of our water wheels complete. I've even started dynamiting in, in the eyeball to uh, start bringing this, this layer down one. So we'll still have the concentric circles, but this will be, uh, 
this will hold a little bit more to, more water assuming we get some the lower reservoir is still okay we haven't run out we've got i don't know about half a tile in there and uh, how we do it over here we're we're doing very very well this is this is really coming along i can't i can't wait for that to be finished uh, so yeah keep your fingers crossed for loads of water this year can we fill up our reservoirs and fill up our batteries it's going to be interesting let there be much rejoicing <laughs> it's day four and we haven't had the drought warning so that means like the last two seasons we've only had six days of water we're getting at least seven i mean keep your fingers crossed that we get the full eight you know i would love to end this episode <laughs> with the power full and the reservoirs full it might be a bit much to ask for the reservoirs like from nothing to filling them completely i don't think so but well keep your fingers crossed because um if if we get five days it it could happen it could happen well the rejoicing can now be completely unbridled <laughs> unbridled rejoicing across the land it's day five we've got no warning we're gonna get a full eight days of water okay i'm gonna call it now this thing's gonna top out we are going to be absolutely full of power. I don't think there's any question about that whatsoever. How's it, how are we doing power-wise? We are currently bringing in 72, almost 73,000 power. Whoa, it's awesome. And that's with and that's with virtually no contribution from the from the windmills. The wind's pathetic at the moment. Uh, how's the reservoir doing? Reservoir's doing okay. No signs of flooding yet. With a full five days, that's going to be the the real test. So yeah, I should probably I should probably just watch like the power and and the water level in here, guys. It's happening, it's happening. Look at look at the power going up. We are at fifty seven thousand of a possible fifty eight thousand. Yes, finally, gone. Fifty seven eight. 57.9 boom our battery bank is absolutely full uh, i should get the last batteries done shouldn't i yes do it sky i can't remember the last time this was actually full it was a very long time ago boom boom boom, boom. four to go one two three four awesome when those get built that's it battery is done how's the how's the water level doing it's it's looking good i yeah, i'm thinking we're coming up to flood time i've continued to lay in dynamite although i don't think we're going to take much advantage of it but what the hell let's uh let's have a bit of a bang I, you know what i say we're not going to take advantage of it but we've still got a fair way to i mean the water's still going full force at this stage and we're we're going to flood into this reservoir like any second let's get um get this one done as well bam 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 awesome can you tell that i'm a little bit excited picture do i am i a little bit excited by this i tell you what <laughs> actually this is restrained <laughs> Because off camera, I've been like, ah, it's, it's all working. <laughs> oh, man. Picture has to put up with me when I'm like, nothing's working. Nothing, <laughs> it's all going wrong. I do. It's a nightmare. Frankly, it's yeah. a nightmare. It's a living <laughs> nightmare. Well, it's not a living nightmare now. I am living the dream. I, I mean, seriously, right now, it couldn't be going any better. Oh, we're flooding. We're flooding the eyeball. Who doesn't love a good eyeball flooding? Oh, that's awesome. So we are going to be able to... I should lay some more dynamite, shouldn't I? Let me do that. Well, the drought may be about to begin, but there is no end in sight to the water. The water's still going to be flooding for a while. This has not flooded, which is you know what i said this hasn't flooded but while i've been over there putting in some dynamite i think we did have a little bit 
Yeah, just a, just a tiny bit. But we caught it. Didn't cause any problems. But yeah, like, I mean, that just goes to show you, we, we potentially do need this to be one wider for perfection, which is what we're aiming for. The power is still absolutely chock full. Need more battery, Sky. Ah, well, that's it. That's, <laughs> that is full. So I'd have to find somewhere else for batteries. But, I mean, realistically, isn't that enough? Isn't that enough? What we need... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say, well, what we need is a 30-day drought to actually test it. And we're getting a 29-day drought. Oh, honestly, guys, this couldn't be more perfect. Cycle 91, day 9, facing a 29-day drought with our reservoirs pretty full we've we're, we're at three tiles about to go above that i mean we couldn't be much more prepared for a full-on a full-on 29 day drought if you want to see can we survive that drought well you're gonna have to come back for the next episode guys what an epic journey we've been on and it's not over um picture yeah say goodbye bye we'll catch you for the next episode Peace out.